Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode, we've got a bit of a treat for you with a very heavy based setup team. It is going to be based more around the ability Contre. Uh, as you can see, we've got our two Contre users at the top of the team here, and the Malamar and the Lorantis. And then supporting casters, we're going down as the Kangaskhan, the Meow Stick, G-Max Colossal, and Cobra Lion. So there is kind of reminiscence of other teams that I've put together in series six in this team but as i say it is going to be very heavy setup based the two supporting pokemon that are going to be so important to the team are going to be that meow stick and the kangaskhan they perform different roles in the different cores of the team and like i say as we get into the battles we'll go through the bits and bobs of that team there is a poker paste down in the description below if you'd like to check out the details of the team or try it out on something like pokemon showdown and as always we'll throw rental up at the end of the episode after we've had a couple of games so as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel if you are new and um, do leave your comments down below especially if you've got some burning desire to see something played before we move into the crown tundra which is little under two weeks away now um, and i will do my best to make sure we try and feature as many of the suggestions as possible so we've got a first opponent jay and they are playing a team of sylvia and cub lion urshifu kangaskhan polytoad and neuburn so an interesting build it looks pretty cool um you've got to suspect there's maybe stuff like weakness policy on the Neuvern. You've got quick attack there from the uh, Sylveon that they could make use of. Politoed with the rain makes things very difficult to, uh, to for us to bring the Colossal for sure. Uh, even though that is quite a nice mode for us here. Um, we could potentially go a Cobra Lion route. Again, not the best. But Trick Room doesn't seem too bad for us in all honesty. If we can get Trick Room set up with Meow Stick, it might be quite nice to, to go down that route. Um, Mama has a hard time leading, I think, though. That's the only problem with uh, the Sylvian there. Even though we have got the Assault Vest, it's still going to take a bunch of damage nonetheless. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go Cobra Lion. Uh, I'm going to bring Lorantis. And actually, what I'm going to do... Okay. We've got seven seconds, so we need to lock in. I'm going to go Kangaskhan, Cobra Lion. Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to go... Meow stick and Lorantis in the back. Okay. Now I would kind of like to bring Marmor here, but the inclusion of Sylveon on my opponent's team makes it very difficult. Like the Hyper Voice is going to be doing so much damage. Like I say, even through the Assault Vest that we've got on it, and we do have light screen support on a Meow stick, it's going to be very hard to get it going. Right. Okay. Well, Kangaskhan and Cobbleyon coming out for my opponent. But. Unless they have a Scarf Kangaskhan like we've got, we should be all right. So I'm going to max. I'm going to go for the Max Knuckle into Kang, and I'm just going to go straight for that beat up. Now, the beauty about Kangaskhan in this team and why it's in this certain mode with the Cobra Lion and Colossal is because it gets inner focus. So it's a little bit like the Sneasel, a bit of a throwback to that very early G Max Colossal team that we threw up for Series 6. Um, and we've scarfed it. So inner focus means we can't be faked out. It means we can always get a surf off, always get a beat up off if we want to. Which is really nice for us to uh, to just guarantee the setup there. Um, especially because sometimes the, the kind of contra side of the team might not always be the more optimal one. Obviously, it is a bit more niche. So there are going to be times where you aren't going to be able to use it. So falling back on these maybe stronger um, setup mods are a little bit better. Um, and like I say, with Kangaskhan, we have scarfed it for the reason that we can always get the surf up before most things. Uh, and the beat up off before most things. So... In this case, we should be alright, I think. Unless they're also running Scarf Kangaskhan. Maybe. <laughs> Let's hope they're not. So they're maxing their Cobble Lion. We're maxing ours. Uh, we should get a beat up off first. We should remove the Kangaskhan before they can beat their Cobble Lion up. And there we go. Okay. They might just think we're winning the speed tie here. <laughs> maybe. But maybe not as well. Uh, and Kangaskhan, I think... If their cover line's not boosted and not got a life orb, we should be able to survive maybe a max knuckle. Uh, but we definitely, unless this Kangaskhan on my opponent's side is sashed, that would be bad. But we'll soon find out as we get this final beat up off. We get to plus four, which is perfect. And um, let's see, do we go next? Do we go next? We do. 
Perfect. Ah, uh, it's a chopper berry. <laughs> Is it going to be enough to take this though? Can it take it? Can it? Hopefully not. No, 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 no. Okay, that's perfect. Now we'll see their Cobra Lion, probably go for another Max Knuckle. I'm hoping it's into our Cobra Lion, honestly. And I guess because we've got the Life Orb there, it probably just pushed us over uh, getting that knockout onto the uh, the Kangas Con with that Chopper Berry. They're going Airstream, which is interesting, into Kang. So we take that pretty comfortably. Now the Cobra Lion's going to be able to outspeed the Kangas Con the next turn. Um, which will make it a little bit trickier, uh, especially if they're bringing in something that does threaten our Cobra Lion, because they'll be able to, yeah, the Urshifu. Urshifu. Hmm. I think we still go after. Um, actually, we could go, mm, no, nah, we couldn't go Rockfall. We could go Steel Spike into Urshifu. Like, what Urshifu is it? I didn't really get a good, clear picture. It is the dark. Okay, so. I think we go Knuckle into Urshifu. And we'll go for another beat up again. We'll see. If the Cobra Lion doesn't attack Kangas Khan, we'll get another beat up off. <laughs> Even though it's. <laughs> Even with the boost, the plus one. So it's a very slow Cobra Lion. Um, it will now come down to whether or not the Urshifu sashed, which I would imagine it probably. Okay, we had a bit of a glitch with the video. Hopefully it's back. Uh, the Cobra Lions just went for the Max Knuckle into our. Um, Cobble Lion here. I think it was Cobble Lion. I think I don't think it was Kangaskhan. They are sashed on the Urshifu. Um I think they went into Kangaskhan. I'm not too sure though. I'm pretty sure. Uh, was it? Was it? Was it? Let's see. Nah, it was into our Cobble Lion. So close combat coming out. Oh, it does pick up our Cobble Lion, which is a little bit unfortunate. We probably would have been better off there going after the opposing Cobble Lion and just getting the knockout there. Knowing that the sash was on the Urshifu. Um, okay, but we do know that Kangaskhan actually outspeeds everything, so we can go for a beat up into the opposing Urshifu before it can attack us. Um, and we can definitely get a Trick Room up, because if they double into Meowstic here, then we are in trouble. Um, but thankfully they can't, so we'll be able to at least see a little bit more of this team and hopefully get the Lorantis into a nice position to do some work. Okay. So all going well, we should pick up the knockout onto the Urshifu here, and then we should get our Trick Room up with Meowstick, a little golden Meowstick, which I brought over from, I can't remember which gen, I think my uh, Aorus cards, so Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I think it's back from those days. So, um, Urshifu actually switching out, which is, mm, I kind of don't mind if we see Kangaskhan go down here. Uh, Sylvian coming in makes things a little bit more tricky, for sure. Uh, but the beat-up damage is obviously um, handy, although it's not very much. But Kangaskhan at this point in time, a bit of a dead weight. Hopefully it does go down, which, yeah, that's perfect. So that opens the door for Lorantis to come in. Uh, we can start the charming, um, and it might be worth charming the... Cobra Lion before we do anything else um, because we get the Trick Room up now which is perfect and the Cobra Lion's plus two at the minute the other thing is we could potentially do is go well we've got a few options here we can go light screen to mitigate the damage from the Sylvian we can go charm into Lorantis might be better charming the Lorantis Yeah, let's charm the Lorantis and go for a superpower into Cobra Lion because that plus two should get the Cobra Lion. Hasn't got a defense boost, it's just got the attack boosts. So the Prankster Charm, you can say with the Contra, should put us to plus two, which does plus, plus two. This will boost our defense as well by one. Oh no, we missed just barely. Come on, no way. No way Cobra Lion takes that the Hyper Voice and we're probably going to get... If, unless we see a bounce. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect because it gives us the time. It gives us a bit of room. Okay. And we can protect with Lorantis and we can throw a light screen up. Uh, that's what we need to do. We need to protect. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's not over just yet. I'm hoping they're bouncing into Lorantis because that's where we need them to, to bounce. 
Um, we'll get the light screen up. That'll help us against the Sylvian. Um, it's going to be tricky. Hyper voice. Now Meowstic should take this. Yep. Bounce. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Now we can expanding force into Cobbleine. We'll get that with that. And I'm going to say a plus two Leaf Blade should get the Sylvian. I'm hoping. Zoranus isn't like it's it's a decent it's a decent attacker. It should get it. Yeah, okay. Amazing. Amazing. Crit as well. Okay, that helps out a bunch. The expanding force should get the Cobble Lion now, and then all we've got to deal with is the Urshifu. And I think plus one defense, we should take a sucker punch. Uh, and a superpower will be able to pick it pick up the knockout. For sure. Because Yeah, it's like on one HP. That's so just about yeah, we can charm it as well, just to make sure. Just to be sure. Oh, we can't charm it because it's a dark type. <laughs> so we can't do anything to it. How many turns of Trick Room we got left? Three. Uh, no, one. One. Ha. Huh. They could protect here. That that could be very bad. That would actually be very bad. Um, I think we just have to charm again Alarantis and hope that they do not... Yeah, they could protect. They're going to protect here in the last turn of Trick Room. We could lose this. They're not protecting. They want the Sucker Punch. I don't think it gets us. We're plus one defense. You should take it. They haven't even done that. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Come on. Come on, Lorantis. We can do it. Okay, that's perfect. Very good game to my opponent. And a nice, exciting one for us to kick off with uh, today. A bit awkward. We probably did make a mistake in not targeting the Cobble Lion with our own Cobble Lion. Because I think if we get... Well, we just want to make sure we remove it there. But the thing is, I guess when it came down to the end game, it, it wasn't as bad a decision. Because the Urshifu is in a position, if it still had its Sash in that end game point where we were, I don't think we win that. Because then our Trick Room ends... And we're probably not able to take it down to its sash and then uh, take 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 it down after that. Especially without our terrain up. So I think overall it was probably the better decision that led us to win that game. So can't complain too much. Right, we got our next opponent, PH27. Uh, playing a team of Lapras, Talonflame, Raichu, Urshifu, Serena and Duraludon. So a pretty solid looking team, pretty scary as well. Got the Tailwind there for their main speed control. Uh, there's not a lot we can do to kind of stop that with uh, the Talonflame with its Gale Wings ability. Raichu there as well with Fake Out. Potentially Nuzzle support as well, which is going to make things very tricky. Um, now what route do we go down? Do we go down a Colossal route here, maybe? And Lorantis in the back? Uh, or could Malamar do some work here? Maybe. Maybe. But it's about the speed control. It's about kind of stopping the speed control, um, in all honesty. And I feel like the Talonflame leading, it's probably got Taunt. So it's probably going to be difficult to stop that. The one thing we could potentially go for is Colossal and Kangaskhan. Because the Lapras probably isn't going to outspeed Kangaskhan in a Tailwind. That's the one thing I can probably say safely. Um... Yeah, let's try... Okay, let's try this. We'll run out of time as well. I think we want Meowstic. And then maybe... Uh, let's go with Malmar in the back for this one. Because we've brought the Lorantis. So it's going to be nice to feature the Malmar as well. So we'll see what we can do. It's going to be a tough one though. I mean, I'm already making it tough. I'm bringing Colossal to a Lapras team. But it might work out. <laughs> it may do. Depends on the speed of the Lapras, honestly. Like, if Kang still outspeeds it in a Tailwind, then we're all good. Oh, cool. We don't even see that. Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> when a plan comes together. Great. Okay, I like this lead a lot because <clears throat> now what we do is just surf and we go after the old Urshifu. Is it a water Urshifu though? Let's see, what are you Urshifu? No, it's dark, so that's fine. I thought it would be dark. Go for the Surf. Let's go for the uh, Max Flare. Sets the sun up as well, so we can get our rocks up the next turn. Uh, get rid of this Urshifu, unless 
unless the Urshifu is also scarfed, and then it would outspeed our Kangaskhan, which would, well, it would have to be positive nature. So it would have to be jolly and scarfed, which if you're scarfing it, you normally go adamant. So it would have to be that to get the Kangaskhan, but it doesn't. Okay, that's perfect. So we get the Surf, break a Sash, and we'll get rid of the Urshifu, which is one of the most annoying Pokemon to deal with in Series 6 because it's so good. And Serena, I'm not really worried about. I don't know what Serena is going to do here. It might high jump kick into Kangaskhan. It might go for the same into Colossal. But at the end of the day, it's kind of fine, isn't it? So we'll get rid of the Urshifu here. I'm hoping that Colossal doesn't do too much work here. So we can at least get Marmar in. That's gone for the Power Whip. And Colossal avoids. Okay. So. We're in a super nice position right now. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't see the Talonflame come out as a lead for my opponent. I really am. I think the Talonflame Lapras would have been the best lead. Because you can pre you pretty much force us to go for Max Flare. Turn 1 if we stick with our Colossal. Um mode and then kind of go from there uh oh well we just go and do do we surf again or do we bring in do we bring in meow stick now i think let's bring in meow stick and let's go for the rocks into serena let's get rid of serena they're gonna tailwind i think oh they cancel the battle already okay well it does mean it does mean friends that we can actually squeeze in one more so there is a positive to come out of it but i mean getting the knockout First turn like we did onto the Urshifu is probably my opponent's main way to deal with it outside of the Lapras. So it becomes very difficult. You can kind of understand the forfeit there. So we've got a heavy rain team here. Pelipper, Kingdra, Ludicolo, um, Seismitoad, Volcarona, and Ferrothorn. Oof. Oof. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. We need a Trick Room up for sure uh, if we're going to do anything in this game, I think. I mean, we could go Colossal, but it's pretty pointless. Um, yeah, we need Meowstic. And what we're going to lead Meowstic and what's going to be better? Maybe. Mm, I think Cobra Line's not bad, but it's not a great. Maybe Malamar. Malamar, and then maybe Lorantis in the back. And. Uh, <laughs> What's our fourth one going to be? I mean, Cobra Line's not bad. It's a fourth one. It's got ways to hit most things on my opponent's team. Better than Colossal as well. So we'll go with Cobra Line. In the last slot. Ah, Rain is not the team archetype that I wanted to come up against. But we'll see what we can do. If we can get a Trick Room up, we're going to be in a good spot. We've got Light Screen Support as well, which would definitely help us against the majority of this team. They've only got one physical attacker there with the the ferrothorn so you know it's not gonna be too bad and i don't mind facing ferrothorn with lorantis because you've got the superpower and we can kind of just keep boosting our attack and our defense and over and over and over again until lorantis becomes an absolute beast we also got charm as well on meow stick so we can qu pretty quickly like boost that uh attack stat to uh plus six but we'll see if we can get it going in this match. We've got Pelipper and we've got Kingdra coming out. Now, did they double into Meowstick here? That's the thing. As I kind of want to get the Trick Room up first. That's the first thing we need to do. But is it better to get a Light Screen up first? Um, no, nah, we'll go for a Trick Room. And we will go for... Huh. I just go for a rock slide. I do I start super powering and get a defense boost up. I mean, it'd be nice to rock slide and get the sash potentially the potential sash on Pelipper Brock. They may actually double into Meowstic here, which could be kind of bad for us, but we'll see. The other option we got here is obviously, of course, uh, we're not seeing anything max, which is again interesting. Uh, Meowstic taking that pretty comfortably, Malmar taking that really well, accuracy rising. And a surf. Hopefully Meowstic can take this. Come on, Meowstic. Please take it. Set this trick room. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, that's perfect. And um, we'll get the trick room up. What is that? Is that an absorb bulb? Yeah, it is. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so the Kingdra is plus one. We do get the attack boost. 
the, uh, the the sash broke on that Pelipper. And uh, we're going to be in a nice position now where we could potentially... I think we go for a light screen right now because it's going to support us for the rest of this game. Um, do we go for an attack boost though? That's, that's the question. Or do we just go for another rock slide? Um... I'm going to go Rock Slide because there is a chance we could flinch here if they don't max at all. It's more likely they max the Kingdra now, though, I think. Um, but I don't mind if we lose both Pokemon right now. Um, we got Lorantis in the back. It's just it would be nicer to get Lorantis in and still have Meowstic on the field. Like That's ideally what we would... Okay, we're going to see the Pelipper protect. If we can get a light screen up, if we get a flinch here, that's huge for us. That is so huge. We stop that Kingdra attacking. Um, and we're definitely not missing with our rock slides after the accuracy boost, which is always nice. So there is a decent chance we can flinch, potentially, because we could get, okay, well, the muddy water. No flinch, and the muddy water hits. So not ideal. Lose both after the old Azul bulb procking. Hmm. And now we're in a tricky spot because Hurricane's going to be real annoying to deal with. We do have a light screen up, which is all right. But we're going to have to go after the Kingdra here. Um, and probably Stone Edge the Pelipper. Okay. So we'll max. Max overgrowth. Um just if the Kingdra maxes as well, that's going to be really awkward for us. Um, and I'm going to go for a Stone Edge into Pelipper. I'd imagine uh, we've got to take down the Kingdra. We've got to, if we don't take down the Kingdra, then we're done. Then we are done. But we'll see. Um, if they max, it's, we're probably not taking it down. If they don't max, we take it down. That's the, the simple facts of it, I think. Um, we should take... A hurricane from the Pelipper pretty comfortably in when we are maxed unless the Pelipper maxes as well I don't see it going for that um but Cobbalion okay so then I don't mm, are they maxing we're in trick room so we would go naturally first we'll have to see we kind of got to hope that they're not maxing that's the big thing here for us okay well we'll soon find out Okay, no maxing. So we should get the Kingdra here and set our terrain up, which is nice. Um, yeah. And then Stone Edge will take down the Pelipper. And we're in a decent spot going forward. Just got to worry about if the Ferrothorn comes in. Obviously, we can't stop boosting until we're not maxed anymore, which is one of the big drawbacks. Okay. No confusion, which is great. Stone Edge. And we hit. So that's perfect. With the Life Orb guaranteed to take that down. Um, okay, so, so, such a tricky game. Like, the other thing we could have maybe thought about here would have been doubling in on the Kingdra, uh, just in case it did max, and then we could guarantee that we take take it down. But a max airstream plus one probably do a heck of a chunk to Lorantis. Okay, so it's a Seismitoad coming out, which is going to be the fastest thing in the rain, and the Ludicolo, I think we got this, 100%. We'll go for the Seismitoad there in the grassy terrain. We should take it down. Um, and I think another Stone Edge, because I don't want to lower our defenses just yet on our Cobra Lion. The Ludi may max and go max Hailstorm. There's definitely a possibility into Lorantis, but we still got the Trick Room up, so we're still in a good spot. Um, Cobra Lion going to outspeed both of these in the Trick Room with the Rain up as well. So it would be in my opponent's best in, like in like niche uh, like intentions to get rid of the rain right now especially with the trick room up i don't know what's going to max is it the seismitoad or is it the ludi i don't know seismitoad may max no it's a ludi okay i kind of don't mind this max hailstorm could be a little bit troubling for sure But I still think Lorantis probably takes it anyway. And Seismitoad protecting. I'd be surprised if this doesn't actually just knock it out anyway. Because it's four times weak. It's not the most defensively built Pokemon. 
Oh, it's very close. It's very close. Very close. Stone Edge. Doing a nice chunk with that life orb there. And the hailstorm. There we go. Okay, we pulled it. Um, still alright though. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Have we got one more turn with Lorantis? I think we've got one more max turn. So we should be able to take another one with Lorantis before it goes. Like that should proc our berry as well. Um, and the Seismitoad actually going down to the hill. So it's kind of kind of productive for my opponent to do that, even though it made a lot of sense for them to do it at the same time. I think they probably didn't expect Seismitoad to take as much damage. Okay, but I, yeah, I think we're going to be all right now. We've got Grassy Glide as well once we aren't maxed anymore. Um, and we should be able to do a nice chunk to the Ludi here with this. And we'll go for another Stone Edge as well into Ludi. The fact is I could click Close Combat, but I really don't want the defense drops. That's the big thing for me right now. Wow. Wow does so much damage so much damage they're setting the rain back up which is quite smart you know uh doing that for when the trick room finishes so they're the, the fastest thing problem is we've got grassy glide and at this point Lorantis is going to be actually able to just pick up the knockout with the grassy glide it's so low health if the stone edge doesn't but it does and we pick up another win so interesting way for my opponent to kind of play their team i think the kingdra would have been the better thing to max and i think we would have really struggled if we did see the kingdra max there Thankfully, we got our Trick Room up, though. It probably was the one thing that put them off maxing Kingdra. Um, the fact that, that uh, Meowstic was able to set that up. And we didn't really see too much of Malmal, which was a little bit of a shame. But uh, Malmal can be really threatening in its own right. You know, it's got the Assault Vest there. We can take a bunch of attacks. Um, and it's maybe better to have it in the back to bring in a bit like we did with the Lorantis there. Um, but... All the same the team is very fun so i hope you guys have enjoyed it we had a couple of games with it we've talked about how some of the, the modes in the team work um and i'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it if you do try it out remember it is a little bit more of a fun team uh it's not super serious but uh, it's always good to take onto the ladder and just have a few games with for sure now we need to take a team down don't we oh, i love all the, all these teams are great i do love each and every one of them but I think it might be time to probably take this one down. Um, yes, I think so. Yeah, we'll take this one down. Um, and if there are any teams that I have taken down, obviously let me know. I've got a second switch. I can put up all the teams on that if you would like to see them played. Um, and we'll make this one public. And then you guys can have... A bit of fun with this one so yeah the contra is a nice ability the down one downside to it is if you've got something like max knuckle on the Lorantis, obviously when you do max it's going to boost your attack so it kind of is counterproductive in that way and that's probably one of the main reasons why we haven't seen it used so much in this format contra is a really good ability but it is kind of counterproductive when you do start maxing and going for some of the the options there i do really like the lorantis set though you can set your terrain uh, uh from the lorantis yourself or you can set it with the colossal if you go with that mode first with the kangaskhan um and one of the things i'd probably change on kangaskhan which i actually couldn't get i had no access to it at all um, and I don't know how long it would have taken me and I really wanted to just get this episode up would be circle throw on Kangaskhan now it is an egg move um, and it would really help against opposing trick room uh, or things trying to set up in front of you at least you've got that scarfed circle throw to get them out uh, or a threat off the field uh, before it can hit maybe a partnering Pokemon. So that's always a nice option. So in the case of if they lead like Primarina, you can circle throw the Primarina because you should still outspeed like a Primarina uh, in Tailwind with Kangaskhan most of the time, unless it's like super fast. Um, so in that case, you can circle throw it out and like protect Colossal even more, which is quite a nice thing to be able to do. So that would be over Icy Wind. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't have an Explode with the Circle Throw, and I didn't have a Kangaskhan with Circle Throw, so I couldn't put the Egg Move on the uh, the one that I've got from Pokemon Home. But if any of you want to change things up, that's a nice little option for you there. Um, but otherwise, just have a lot of fun with the team. I hope you do, and uh, we'll end it up there. So thank you so much for tuning in, as always. Hope you've enjoyed this little episode today, and uh, we'll be back very soon with some more VG and Crown Tundra content. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.